life growing up was rough. My dad was in the Navy. We moved around. My mom really didn't pay attention to me much. I decided to move out on my own to live with my boyfriend when I was 17. Um, and then after I moved out, I got pregnant. Living in the Chieftain, it was, it was rough. Every morning we'd get up and we helped them remodel the whole entire thing. Being pregnant, I was painting, I was lifting things that I shouldn't have been lifting and up and down the stairs trying to help them. There's a lot of bad things going on in the motel. And just living there wasn't something that I wanted. I was seven months pregnant with him when I went into labor. And it was really scary. They ended up care flighting me to Seattle. And I was in labor for six days with him. And then I had to have an emergency C-section. We brought Drew back to the Chieftain and we were only there for two days and then we got kicked out. And we had nowhere else to go so we moved to Vegas. And we were living in Vegas with my grandpa. We ended up moving back to Washington to be with family. And we moved in with my mom we were there for two years before we got our own place. One of my friends from high school um, was talking to me on Facebook and reconnected with me and she was like, I go to this group, come with me. So I went with her, being able to go and put my son in daycare and then just spend time with the young moms that are in the same situation with me and being able to just talk about being a mom and so young still being in high school and things like that. It was the place that I needed to be at the moment I was in. Teresa, my mentor, she was at Teen Mops when I first met her and then we started small group and I really connected with her at small group. She has kids of her own and she took me in as one of her kids and she loves Junior just as much as I do. And so meeting her and getting connected with her was something that we both felt needed to happen. It just pulled at my heartstrings because I was a former teen mother myself. So I decided to jump in and, and to commit to her one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Um, wasn't even a commitment. I mean, there's, she's gonna be a part of my life for the rest of my life. I went back to high school and I finished high school and I got my high school diploma. And then she also has helped me um, get my CNA license. So now I have my CNA, I'm a certified nursing assistant. And I have my own apartment. My next step is to get into college and become a nurse. Jesus would not, he would not be in my life if it wasn't for parent life. I would have forgot about him and not even thought twice about connecting again. I'm really excited about being a young leader because I can explained that it is okay to be a parent and you don't have to worry and share my story with them and how I was a young parent and I've thrived and become successful and have a good job and they, it, that it is possible. It is possible for them to go along and be thriving and get their life goals that they want set accomplish them.